The founder and CEO of Papa John's, John Snyder, has just stepped down from the company after it was leaked that during a conference call with the marketing uh, firm, he dropped the N-word and basically what he said was, if Colonel Sanders, who is the founder of KFC, was able to get away with saying the N-word and receive no public backlash, why isn't he allowed to do so? And after this was revealed, or like after it became public that he said uh, such horrendous things, well, he uh, said sorry, did his little tap dance and said that, you know, oh, well, I didn't really mean it. And he felt like he was pressured, like all that. And, and, and my thoughts on his apology is that if you are truly sorry or you truly didn't think that way, you wouldn't have said it in the first place. Like, for you to just be so nonchalant and understanding of our, like, and, and just to knowing the history of our country, which, you know, this guy's an idiot, so he probably doesn't know. I mean, that, that word is very hurtful for people of color and just decent human beings in general. And for him to just say it like that and just not understand, like, why that word is hurtful, it blows my mind away. And then on top of that, Papa John's pizza is nasty. Like, every time that I might have been on a function and I was unfortunately, like, really hungry and they ordered Papa John's, like, their pizza, is t it just tastes icky. And, like, let's just start off with the cheese. They, they Their cheese tastes nasty. They put way too much sauce on the pizza. And then their, their crust... It doesn't even, it, it just tastes like you're eating matter. It, it tastes like you're eating a piece of cardboard. Like, there's no taste or flavor to it. Like, when you have options like Pizza Hut and Domino's, why would you want to go to Papa John's? I, I don't understand that kind of reasoning behind somebody, especially when Papa John's is generally just a, a despicable person. Um, I mean, it started off, what, like, in, during the 2008, 2012 election when the Affordable Care Act, um, you know, started, uh, you know, with the idea of the Affordable Care Act um, coming to fruition uh, came about. This is a guy who said that, you know, he's not going to provide his employees with health care. And then a study came out that said that the cost per pizza would only increase by 11 to 14 cents a pizza if if he were to like give all of his employees full health coverage, 11 to 14 cents, and he can cover all of his employees, I would pay a quarter, a dollar. You know, it's just like healthcare is like a basic human need. And this guy is so greedy that he's unable to do that. And on top of that, like it was also revealed like the place he lives at, he basically lives in a castle with a drawbridge on like a huge estate. And this is a guy who can't give basic health care to his, his employees who are the reason why he's able to live like that. You know, he, those people work hard for, for, you know, and they're making next to nothing. I always try to give a pizza delivery person at least like a $5 tip, even if the pizza was like 12 or 13 bucks. I always give it to them in cash because you don't know if their boss might try to, you know, pocket it. On the side or something i always try to give delivery people like their tips in cash because you never know if you know their tips might be uh getting stolen or anything like that but and then on top of that you know this is a guy who's you know came out against the nfl protests and then once um he lost like a third of um once once like their their revenue or whatever went down by a third because of his comments towards the nfl protests um, he apologized later on. So this is a guy that's basically just motivated by greed. And he, he generally doesn't care about people from what it seems like. And, you know, I, I, like, personally, I never liked Papa John's Pizza. But now I'm definitely never even want to even give it a chance. And I sort of feel bad for the people that work at Papa John's because, you know, if this company goes over or goes under, a lot of people will lose their job because, this guy is such an idiot. And, you know, whether Papa John's goes under or not, he's not going to be on the street with, with the holding a can asking for change. Like, he's going to be good regardless. And a lot of his employees, which he doesn't really care about, they're going to 
be screwed because of his comments. And that's all I have to say. Please leave a comment in the um, below. Tell me what you guys think about this, and uh, have a nice day. Peace.